Okay. So, just that little thought. Jacking up these theories <clears throat> on what they term the pinch weld. Just to the um, wheel side of the little indent in the seam of the onboard jack. So if you move the jack this side, put the cardboard in there, jack it up, and then put your actual stand near it. This part of the pinch welds strengthened for this purpose. A bit of cardboard underneath the uh, axle stand and jack up on the um, cardboard as well so damaging your nicely sealed in um, weld okay thanks for watching Take the belly pan off. Now underneath one of your engine. You should be able to identify that component there. And then the sump. And this braided section of exhaust, which is where you can Look over the top. And we're under there. With you. Okay, so put my torch on. There we go. Right. So just to reorientate you, there's that braided section. Looking over the top of it, you see the fitting with the red clip on it and just to the left of that you see the split hose and the metal pipe that runs all the way down the car there to the DPF let me get my screwdriver so I can point to the, there you are, that's the end of the hose, uh, the end of the metal pipe, with a bit of the plastic hose, and there's the end of the plastic hose, widget plastic, but if you follow it back up, it goes up here. And then on to the rubber hose, the click R clip on the bottom, which then goes on up to the um, DPF sensor, the differential pressure sensor up there. So following it down again, past this bracket that the hose clips into, this hose here it goes into another bracket there. Let me see what I'm pointing at. Yes, you can. And then behind this tag, when I was first looking for it, this tag was obscuring everything to the hose there, which I'm about to cut and replace with a rubber one, which I'll show you once I've done it. Okay. Okay, so. With my arm coming in over the top of this um, frame, literally up here by the pulley and over the top, I was able to get my Stanley and score it. Now, As you can see, it's almost off. And now 
to a while. Now I'm going to push the hose on. Where have I gone? There, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to get the 8mm ID hose between here and here. And if it doesn't break again, I'll just clamp it off. Otherwise, I'm going to have to replace it all the way up to the bottom of the differential pressure sensor up there. That means taking the scuttle off, which I'm trying to avoid. So, just bend this back out a bit. Right? And, okay, here again. So, hose clip onto the rigid plastic hose and short length of rubber high pressure fuel hose with the second jubilee clip on it and in that set I've um, shown it's the smallest jubilee clip size in there which I think is something like 10 to 19 mil or something like that um, but yeah so that's a section that's replaced and I don't really see anything um, exhaust hot to worry about seeing as the exhaust is actually back over here no doubt that pipe will generate temperature which is what I think has um, made this uh, plastic pipe too rigid but um, good quality fuel line and hopefully that will be the end of my bolt code but I'll uh, update on that as and when I get to find out right so one thing to note is this bracket here really want to make your forearm as you lean in and do your stuff really uncomfortable as it's done to mine um but i hope that helps some of you i didn't see anything as um detailed as this one i was looking so catch you later thanks for looking